Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Hey, we are, well, under attack. We have a cardinal bird attacking our windows and screens. I mean, fighting them, hitting the screens and windows hard. And it took us a while to figure out why it's happening, but in today's video, we are going to show you why it's happening and the damage he has caused. Let's take a look. All right, DIYers, first, we are on the computer, and this is a photo of the actual cardinal in action and resting on the screen, as you can see in the center. And this is a picture I took later on in this project, which you will see a live video of the bird in action here shortly. And I wanted to first direct our attention directly to the point, or long story short, why is the cardinal doing this? Why is the cardinal pecking at your window and tearing apart your screens? Or in our case, our windows and our screens. And it has to do with their character, their personality. They are a very territorial bird. And in our case, when they are on the lilac bush, as shown to the left in this photo, they can see their reflection in the glass or the window, and they attack it. And they attack it because they are protecting what they are building. A brand new fresh nest or an already established nest in the tree or bush where their mate is as well as their young. However, they're not always like this. This behavior does not really take place during the winter where we can personally see it, but in the spring and summer is when we as homeowners really get to see the true character and territorial behaviors of the cardinal birds. And why? They're kind of doing their own thing in the wintertime. But come spring and summertime, it's time to gather supplies and rebuild a nest and properly establish themselves for the summer. So again, this behavior is most common during these spring and summer months, more in the spring than the summer, because again, they're fresh off of winter and they're recreating and establishing and building their nests. In addition, this is the time of year where the cardinal bird is the most territorial. Why? Again, as I just mentioned, it's the time of the year where they are finding their mate, time of the year that they are laying eggs, and time of the year where they are raising their little baby birdies. And in order to ensure success for the cardinal's family, again, they are extremely territorial and very aggressive toward other birds, or anything for that matter, that poses a harm on their mission and their family. However, in our case, it's the window or the glass. In your case, it might be a mirror, such as a rear view mirror on a car. So if you've noticed that, that is why. Again, the cardinal sees their reflection in that mirror and becomes very territorial as it senses it's posing a threat to itself or its family, and it attacks it. And to be honest, that's personal preference on which one is more annoying hitting your glass window and tearing apart your screen, or constantly hitting the rear view mirror on the side of your car and make it a mess, or even worse, scratching the paint of your car. That's not good. So again, why are they doing it? They see the reflection, it imposes a threat, and they attack. Which leads to the big question, how do we get the cardinal birds to stop doing that? Well, honestly, that will require altering of your window or your rear view mirror. However, in our case with a window and screen, we can install a new screen, we can add netting, or you can do nothing and just wait until the bird takes what it needs and has finished building its nest for the season. However, in our case, the lilac bush to the left, we are going to trim it down. And that video link is down below in the comments and description. If you have a lilac bush, there's a right way to prune it or trim it down and there's a wrong way. Don't do it the wrong way. So again, that's our plan and hopefully that will solve the problem. In addition, down below in the comments and description will be a link on how to properly and safely replace a screen or the mesh portion of the screen that the bird is sitting on right now in this photo. So check that out if you want help. And DIYers, look, at the end of the day, I still love cardinals, personally. I really do. To be honest, there's not another bird that I find prettier during the winter with the white snow in the background. That's the honest truth. I love the color red, and I love how pretty the cardinal bird looks with that white snow in the background. So with all that said, let's go for a walk. Here we are in the living room in DIYers. He's not messing around. He's attacked or damaged several screens around the house. And here is our living room screen. Got a decent sized hole. We'll get to that lilac bush here shortly, no joke. You'll see some serious damage. To the kitchen. And not that big of a hole, maybe a half an inch, but still a hole. And I had to tape that screen to alleviate bugs from coming inside. To the dining room, and we are just shy of Kentucky Derby. That'll be fun. And right here, an additional damaged screen. That one's maybe just over an inch. And again, had to be taped. And now to this one. This one is pretty damaged. And it's kind of like a zigzag. And it goes about maybe four inches. And I did not take that one yet. We just keep this one closed. However, we need to get that screen replaced so we can open it. DIYers, we are outside now. And down below in the comments and description, we are going to have several links on the one-year cycle of all of our plants, including hostas, knockout roses, irises, lilies, peonies, hydrangeas and more and off the side of the garage you see a decently sized lilac bush and as we just talked about well our sump pump just activated doing a regeneration process 
We'll also have a few links down below on what to do in the event that your discharge freezes. DORs, that's the last thing you want, trust me. That would cause a serious flood in your basement, not good. However, again, as we just learned on the computer, the personality or characteristic of the Cardinal being extremely territorial. This is the area that the Cardinal is most active. As you see, that is about maybe two and a half, three inches wide by 15 inches. A complete total destruction of the screen itself. And this wasn't overnight. This was about two months of the Cardinal working at this and constantly hitting that window or glass. Got glass here, and then we've got the screen, and on the inner side is glass. At first, I just thought, well, inside the garage is something that the Cardinal wants. Maybe a fly, bug, who knows? Maybe a nest in there, but I checked everything inside, nothing. And what I learned was, again, a very territorial personality that the Cardinal has. And this section right here with the lilac bush, it basically calls its own. And when it's here and sitting somewhere on the bush or branches of the lilac bush, it sees its reflection in the glass and it gets very upset and territorial and attacks. And several times it nails this window and then occasionally it works on continuing to destroy the screen. And what I will do is I will patiently wait. I've basically learned, no joke, learn the schedule of the Cardinal. It will be here in about 45 minutes, and you can see it in action. DORs real quick before we go inside and patiently wait, look what I just found. And I cannot confidently say that belongs to the Cardinal, but it's there, and there's nothing in it. So maybe that was from previous seasons or years. It's very likely that's old. here check this one out and again DIYs we really can't open this window because well bugs come in flies wasps bees or even worse maybe that cardinal if that window was open would slip inside here and go inside our house that would not be good Take it a big step back out of the garden and again, there's the screen we were just at and showed you that decently sized rip or tear in the screen, not cool. And while we're here, real quick down below in the comments and description are going to be a few additional videos on the Raptor. And one of which is basically showing you how we brought it home. And another one on spraying UV protection on your lawn decor or garden decor. And we have used that product on several of our garden decor. And winds pick it up. Let's continue around the house. <laughs> 